So what's bothering you right now the most? Right now it's like, uh, it's like it feels like it's the hamstring, mm -hmm. but like I feel like it's also the hip. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure exactly, but it's like shooting up and down. I have a little pain in my uh, calf. All right, so go ahead and have a seat over here. But basically, it's just this really bad sciatica going on your leg. Right? Yes, very bad, very bad. I can't play sports. I used to, I used to play all sports, you know. Uh, and I had to, you know, stop working out and everything just mm. because, yeah. So right now, what we're looking for is we're looking for any abnormal temperature. And what happens when the structure shifts out of alignment due to trauma, what you experienced. What it does is it gives all the information. Now, I could put my hand. See, if over here it's warm, warmer, and really warm over here. But because my hand is three inches wide, it's not as specific as this, when it shows at the very, right at the particular level, right here, it indicates the problems at this level. Other things I'm looking for, with signs of inflammation, there'll be swelling, there'll be muscle tightness. So there's already a big bulge on this side over here. Muscles are very tight over here. Muscles are weak here. Not too much swelling over here. Let's check the secret of that joint themselves. Is it tender right here? Pain? Yes, that's, that's right. That's what I feel. Pain. See, right, there's yeah. pooling and pain. Well, there's swelling right around the secret of that joint. Right here. Right there. Yeah. yeah, right here, right? Yeah, right on right the right top right. part. Yeah. yeah. We can feel the sacrum is not moving whatsoever. It's a brick wall over here. And the right side also has some trouble moving forward as well. And yet, over here, how's this? No problems? Uh, no, no, no problems. There. See, there's no swelling here either. Just a tiny bit. Over here, but not too bad, just a tiny bit yeah, here as well. Tiny. Yeah, so. yeah, very small yeah. over here. We already can see from everybody over here there is significant distortion. He's leaning towards this way, his body is rotating and twisting like this way over here. So, normal, it should move. Go ahead, March. See, it doesn't move here in the sacrum at all. And there's some decent move on, on here as well. As you can see over here, your whole entire spine, what it's doing is like this. It just rotated significantly like this way. Wow. You're all twisted up. Oh, wow. And it started from this foundation over here. Wow. We tested and confirmed it. It's this sacrum over here. It rotated so much this way. Right. That's what caused all those twists with the ground upwards. That's why it just doesn't feel fun all the upwards. Mm -hmm. okay. That's right. No more. Ah! Some release off the back, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Felt much, much a little lighter. Okay. Yeah, felt That's lighter on the feet. Because before, as the viewers and I can see, before you were actually visibly limping on that leg of yours. Right, right. I was. And you're not limping as much. No, not as much. Yeah. I feel like it's. You also Stiff mentioned about right. the pain was going down your calf and ends around here. Right. How's that now? Don't feel it much now. Good. Yeah, I don't feel it much now. So as the swelling itself starts calming down more and more, and especially on this sacrum over here where we corrected over here, right. we'll notice the all that discomfort you feel in terms of your hamstring and also the sacrum like pain will start diminishing as well. Right. Okay. Right? Okay. So we'll see you in a follow-up visit. Yes. That's all for today. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank You're you. Appreciate it.